Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Deontay Wilder, Andy Ruiz, Malik Scott, Alexander Yusick. These guys are inextricably connected, man. Check this out. So, you know, Deontay Wilder is supposed to be fighting Andy Ruiz. That's no secret. The real secret is this mystery opponent that Malik Scott said they had a mystery opponent. He suggested that the mystery opponent was a really big name and people would be shocked at who this person was and how they're actually in line to possibly fight this person. They know Deontay Wilder is a big name. And, you know, if something he wants, a lot of times he can get that, especially with the position that he holds right now. So I did a little research. There were a couple of people who left comments um, under the video that I did, right? So I went out and I did some research on it. Now, I do remember several months ago, Alexander Yusik was supposed to show up to Deontay Wilder's fight against Hellenius. Alexander Yusik was calling out Deontay Wilder. That was back when... Tyson Fury was saying he wasn't going to fight Usyk, and he, how Tyson Fury wanted five hundred million, you know, uh, dollars or pounds to go fight over in the Middle East, right? So Usyk came back and started calling out Deontay Wilder. So Malik Scott and Deontay Wilder, remember, they were adamant about fighting Alexander Usyk, and they said how Usyk is a man of his word, and they can't see Usyk calling out Deontay Wilder being the, uh, someone who's a man of his word and not going through with that fight. So let's fast forward to where we are today. Malik Scott comes out, talks about a possible mystery opponent. They do not want to fight Andy Ruiz. All right? I've already covered this in the video. I'm not going to sit here and delve back into that. They don't want to fight Andy Ruiz. So, But this is what they're hoping for. Tyson Fury likes to play games. Tyson Fury... And Alexander Yusik supposedly have already, you know, tentatively agreed on all the terms. Nothing's been signed. It's supposed to be getting finalized, but it's not official. But what I do know, right, and this is a fact, Alexander Yusik is not going to wait around and play Tyson Fury's games. And if he can't get Tyson Fury for whatever reason, who's the next biggest name in the heavyweight division. He already fought Anthony Joshua. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt, right? It's Deontay Wilder. So, for Deontay Wilder and Malik Scott, their, their focus, for the most part, is on Andy Ruiz because that's the fight they have to make. But they don't want to fight Tyson Fury. They don't want to deal with all that crap again. Like, they just... That's, they're, 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 trying, they're not trying to circumvent the system. They're not trying to duck anyone. They just don't want to do it. Fighting Andy Ruiz, if they have to, they will. But that's why they have this agreement, verbal, verbal agreement, right, with Alexander Yusik, that they're available right now if he wants to make that fight. But Yusik wants to sit back and wait and see what Tyson Fury doing because Yusik's priority would be fighting for the undisputed distinction. Now, for those of you who are saying, why in the world would Usyk sit there and want to fight Deontay Wilder? Well, one, because Usyk wants to fight all the big names, right? Usyk is Usyk is a very courageous fighter. I'm just I'm not even calling a fighter. He's a very courageous Ukrainian, right? Let me let me say it correctly, okay? Very courageous Ukrainian fighter. But also Malik Scott. And Yusik was sparring partners. I don't think a lot of people knew that. Okay? I did my research. Someone pointed that out to me. I went and did my research. Now, I know Malik Scott has been in a lot of people's camps as a sparring partner. I didn't know just how much time he spent with Yusik. So, him and Yusik spent quite a bit of time together and uh, put in several, you know, multiple rounds. And when Malik Scott speaks of Yusik, he says Yusik is a special fighter. He's a smaller fighter. Him against Tyson Fury is 50-50 because Tyson Fury has done a great job of when he fights smaller fighters, putting his weight on him, tiring him out, and basically just wearing him down. He said the advantage Yusik has because he's sparred him, and Yusik has great footwork, great feet. So when Tyson Fury comes in to try to grab him and put his weight on him, Yusik has great legs and feet. Well, he'll be able to get out of that. Now, Malik Scott, he's a straight shooter. And you can tell he's a thinker. 
But obviously, he really feels, and he says, when it comes to Deontay Wilder, he's the most dynamic heavyweight ever and the biggest puncher ever, ever in the heavyweight division. And he talks about just how athletic Deontay Wilder is. So Malik Scott's always going to trumpet Deontay Wilder and just how great he thinks he is because, one, he truly believes it, and two, they're, like they said, they call themselves brothers, right? Both of their mothers have the same birthday. So they're very close. So for those of you who are wondering who the mystery opponent is, the mystery opponent is Alexander Yusik. And that's why they spoke so highly of this mystery opponent, suggesting that the mystery opponent is a bigger name than Andy Ruiz. So all the Jalil Zhang stuff I was talking about, George George st stuff I was talking about, people, it's Alexander Yusik. So I just want to put that on your radar. All right? So that being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, people from all seven continents. I'm in the breeze.